what is the value of k given that we have k square minus 2 and branches to the power of 3 cos k plus 2. Then let's have it to be solution. So from here we have to recall when we have a minus b to the power of 2 in parentheses. So this always equals a square minus 2ab then plus b square. So from here likewise when we have k minus 2 square to the power of 2 from here here will be k square and parentheses to the power of 2 then minus 2 multiplied by a is k square multiplied by b is 2 plus 2 square so we have k square minus 2 and parentheses to the power of 2 to be k to the power of 4 here will be minus 4k square plus 4. Then when you now substitute everything here, so we have k to the power of 4 minus 4k square plus 4 equals k plus 2. Then we have k to the power of 4 minus 4 k square plus 4 minus k minus 2 equals 0. So, from here, we have k to the power of 4 minus 4, 4k square. This minus k, this and this will be plus 2 equals 0. Then, from here, we have this to be, what is common between this and this is k. We have k square, here will be k square minus 4 minus k plus 2 equals 0. Then, this we have k square, here will be k to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 2. You can have 4 in this 2, then minus k plus 2 equals 0. So we have to recall, when we have a square minus b square, difference of 2 square equals a plus b, then a minus b. So from here, we have this to be k square, then this will be k minus 2 multiplied by k plus 2. And when we factor minus from here, this guy will be k minus 2 as well equals 0. Then k minus 2 is common in this. You can factor it out to be k minus 2. Then this will be k square multiplied by k plus 2 then minus 1 equals 0. So from here we have k minus 2 this will be k times this will be k to the power of 3 plus 2 k square minus 1 we close it equals 0. So we have k minus 2 equals 0, or we have k to the power of 3 plus 2k squared minus 1 equals 0. So from here we have k to be equals to as the first solution. Then likewise, we have this to be k to the power of 3 plus 2k squared minus 1 equals 0. So when k equals 1, let's verify to get the first solution. Then we are going to use the division of polynomial. So from here we have here to be 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 into 1 to the power of 2 minus 1. 
is going to give us zero. So here will be one. Here will be one times two. Here will be two and this one. Then it's going to give us zero. And this cancel out this two does not equal to zero. Then when k also equals minus one, let's verify from here. Here will be minus one in parentheses to the power of three, two times minus one in parentheses to the power of two, then minus one is it going to give us zero. So from here we have minus one, here will be plus two, here will be minus here will be two, sorry one times this two will be two, then here is minus one, then it's still going to give us zero. Minus one minus one will be minus two, then plus two, this equals zero. So is zero equals zero. So therefore the second solution is going to be k equals minus one. And it's the same thing as when we have k plus one equals z. So this is the second solution for the problem. Then let us now use the division of polynomial to get this. So when we use division of polynomial, so for this one, we are going to have this as k to the power of 3 plus 2k squared minus 1. Sorry, we have it as this. Then the dividend k plus 1, this. So when we have this, the first of all, we are going to do is what number that we, are we going to put here? When we multiply this, that will give us to eliminate this k to the power of 3 is when we have k squared. Then let's k times k squared here will be k to the power of 3. 1 times this will be minus plus k squared. Then when we have this, we have to subtract this minus this. Then this one is minus this. So we have k squared minus 1. So from here, we have to recall that then likewise, what are we going to do to eliminate this k squared that we're going to have here is plus k. k times this will give us k squared. 1 times this will give us minus k. So we are going to have this to cancel out this. 1 with minus. So from here, this will now be 1 minus this. Here will be k minus 1. So, likewise again, we want to eliminate this k. And what we're going to have here is to be minus 1. So minus 1, one k times minus 1 here will be minus k. Then here will be 1 and this here also be minus 1. So from here, so k times k will give us k squared. K times this, 1 times k will give us minus k. Give us plus k, sorry. So from here, when we minus this, this will give us 0. So here will be minus 1. Then here is nothing. We have 0. Here will also be minus k. So to eliminate this minus k as well, we must have here to be minus 1. So from here, 1 times k times minus 1 here will also be minus k. Then 1 times this here also be minus 1. 
So when we subtract this one, here will be this subtraction again. Here will be plus, it will affect this. Here also be plus, it will affect this. So here will be zero, zero. So, and that is why we have the product of, product of this, this times this. So we are going to have k to the power of 3 plus 2k square minus 1 to be equals k plus 1 times k square plus k minus 1 then equals 0. So from here we have k plus 1 equals 0 or we have k square plus k minus 1 equals 0. So to solve this quadratically we have a coefficient of k square 1 b coefficient of k1 c equals minus 1. So we have x minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So we have x to be from here minus 1 positive or negative square root of 1 minus 4 so square root of 1 here is minus c plus 4 over 2 this is minus 1 positive or negative root of 5 over 2 so we have x minus 1 positive or negative root of 5 over 2 so we have x1 we have x first to be minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. We also have x minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. So we also have x to be minus 1. So we also have x to be equals 2. So this is the value of x. These are the value of x.